Hello, hello, hello. Before I discuss the solutions, I recommend that you listen all the way to the end, which I know most of you don't do, but in this case you should, because I add at the very end a twist, which is only for real lovers. I don't know whether you count yourself as a real lover. There is a very interesting twist, and I mentioned that briefly at the end. After this solution, I will post the answer to that real twist for real lovers. So there's going to be a second, a second solution which only addresses that real twist. Okay? But that's only for real lovers. I meant real physics lovers, of course. Hello, 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 hello. So today I will discuss with you a typical high school problem. But I gave it a little twist. <laughs> Maybe that made it a little harder. So we have a spring which in a complete relaxed position has length capital L, 60 centimeters. We hang this spring from the ceiling and I stop it here so that this length is again L. I have to push it up of course, because when I let it go, because of gravity, it would go down. So from this position L, I push it up over the distance D. D is 4 centimeters. And now, from this position here, I pull my hands off and the object goes and comes to a halt here, <laughs> not here but here. Of course, it will start to oscillate, but the first time it stops will be here. And I wanted you to calculate what this capital H is. There are several ways that you can do this. I prefer to call this distance from L to here to call that lowercase h. So that means if I calculate lowercase h, then capital H will be d plus h. That's clear, right? So we have mass of 0.2 kilograms, spring constant 10 newtons per meter. We all take for gravity 10 meters per second square. D is 4 centimeters and L is 60 centimeters. What well, may not be so intuitive that the answer is independent of capital L. <laughs> okay. I apply the work energy theorem in going from this point where I release the object with speed zero, so it has no kinetic energy, to this point when again it has no kinetic energy. So that means the network done in going from this point to this point must be zero, work energy theorem. What is the work done by the spring force from here to here? Well, the spring force is moving down in the direction that it's moving, so the spring force is doing positive work, one half kd squared. But when the spring goes from here to there, the spring is pushing up, and so the spring is doing negative work. And that amount of work is one half k h squared again with a minus sign. Remember, it's always one half k x squared. If it does positive work, it's plus. If it is negative work, it's a minus. So it is plus one half kd squared over this trajectory, 
minus one half k h square over this trajectory. The work done by gravity in going from here to there is mg h, or mg capital H. From here to here is mg capital H, and capital H is e h plus b. So this is your equation, the second order equation in h, which is clearly high school algebra. I rewrite it here a little bit. I multiply by 2 and divide by k. So I get an h square here. I bring the h term out here. And here is then the term that has no h in it. And so this reminds me of my high school days when we had an equation ax squared plus bx plus c is zero. ax squared plus bx plus c is zero. I remember even in Dutch what the solution is. x equals min b plus or min de wortel uit b kwadraat min 4ac gedeeld door 2a. Yeah, I'll try to say it in English. So x is minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Well, if I write it in this form, then a is 1. Because this is the ax squared term. So I go immediately then to my result that I just quoted from the high school. But before I do that, you should check something. You should check that when d is 0, this whole term disappears. So you release it from this point and you let it go. That the result is a result that most of you may remember from your high school days. That little h then is 2mg divided by k. And indeed, when d equals 0, you can confirm that. You immediately see that d equals 2mg divided by k. So I massage this a little further. I solve it here. I put in the numerical values and I find that h, my little h, is 0.44 meters. This m is not mass now, this m is meters. Since we want to know what capital H is, it is the 44 centimeters plus the 4 centimeters, 48 centimeters. So it all comes down again to a good understanding of the work energy theorem, if you go from A to B, kinetic energy in B minus the kinetic energy at A is the work done by all the forces in going from A to B. <laughs> and since kinetic energy hasn't changed, zero before and zero after, the net work done on the whole system must be zero. So this wasn't very hard, I hope. I hope. <laughs> I don't know when I will be post the solution, so I have no idea how you will be doing, but I suspect that you will be doing very well. Take care. Have a nice day. And yes, 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 since this was an easy problem, I assume that most of you would like to remain friends with me. Certainly I would like that. So you now know how this problem can be solved. But there is an interesting issue that only lovers of physics would think about. In fact, it kept me awake at night. And that's the following. When d is zero, 
Small h is 40 centimeters. When d is plus 4 centimeters, push up, remember, little h is 44 centimeters. Have you thought about that? I did. <laughs> And the question is, is that an accident? If we had pushed up d7 centimeters, would then little h have been 47 centimeters? It's okay if you don't want to give the answer to that and spend your time on that, but I did. And so I have also posted a second video on this issue. I don't know yet what title I will give it, but it will be clear that it is only for real lovers. I meant lovers of physics, of course. And that actually may open a door for you that you say, yeah, <laughs> interesting. It's very interesting indeed. And as I said, it kept me awake at night, and then I got up and I did the video. <laughs>